bring your photos to life in today's video. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm talking all about the Ken Burns photo effect. Now you're probably wondering, what on earth is the Ken Burns effect? Well, the Ken Burns effect is basically adding digital movement into your photos. If you're using still photos in your video, then by applying the Ken Burns effect, you're adding more movement and this is making your video look more dynamic. And the great thing about the Ken Burns effect is it's really simple to do and it's really simple to understand. You just have to understand a little bit about keyframing. So let's load up Adobe Premiere Pro and let's begin with this effect. So once you've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a new sequence and we'll just rename this. We'll call this Ken Burns. And then we wanna go through and make sure this is 1920 by 1080 with 23.976 frames per second. And then we just want to import our footage onto the timeline. So we'll just drag those across. And then on this first image, you can see a picture of the Eiffel Tower. And then I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to make sure that the scale matches up with the frame size. So we'll just adjust the scale. And then I'm just going to rotate the horizon a little bit and just fix the positioning. Now we'll scroll across the start of the image. We'll create a keyframe on the scale and position. We'll scroll across and we're just going to increase the scale and we'll move the position. And then we'll drag these two keyframes to the very end. And then if we play this back, that is the Ken Burns effect basically complete. But I'm going to show you a few different variations. So, so we've got this shot of a New York street and I'm just going to increase the scale to 51%. We'll pull the positioning up at the start of this. And then on the second keyframe, we'll just pull this down. And there you go, that is the second variation of the Ken Burns effect. Now on this third image, we've got another image of New York City. So I'm just gonna pull the scale up to around 50% just to fill the screen. We'll pull the positioning down. We'll create a brand new keyframe on position and pull that across to the beginning. And then we'll just pull this up to around 1,300 and pull that keyframe to the very end. And that's the Ken Burns effect done on that one. In this image, we've got a picture of me handstanding in the middle of the road, and I'm just going to adjust the scale to 34%. We'll go to the end of this, create two keyframes on the scaling, and then at the start of this, we're just going to pull this up. So this is just going to be a zoom out. And then we'll just make sure that these two keyframes are at the very end. If we don't pull these up to the very end, then there's going to be a horrible pause at the end of this animation, and it's just not going to look very good, and the Ken Burns effect is going to be ruined. So make sure that your keyframes are at the very start and at the very end of this. And for our final example, I'm going to go a little bit more complicated on this one. So I'm going to adjust the scale to 35%. I'm going to go towards the end and I'm going to create keyframes for rotation scale and position. We'll pull that to the end. And then at the very beginning, I'm going to increase the scale. And I'm going to introduce some rotation. So as you can see there on the top left, the screen was starting to poke out. So I'm just going to add some more scale. And if we play this back, we've got a soft zoom out and we have the rotation. So there you go. These are all different camera movements and these look really awesome. And they can really help to bring a photo to life when you're using photos in your videos. It's a really simple effect and you can do this in most video editing software. And that basically means that you're not limited to Premiere Pro. You can do this in whatever software that you have available. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.